Hello, welcome to Wise Guys. Sorry, mixture problem. There are two questions I want to show you how to solve mixture problems. The first one is Nickel silver alloy is named for its silvery appearance. It contains 60% copper, 20% nickel, and 20% zinc. Question A. How much copper, nickel, and zinc are in 100 kg nickel silver alloy? So this question just uh, uh, make more understand what that percentage mean. As we know, in alloy, there are sixty percent copper. The sixty percent means sixty over one hundred, right? Sixty sixty percent means. is 60 over 100 in mass. So that means if you there are 100 grams of nickel silver alloy, so that there are 60 grams of copper, right? Copper, Cu. This is a alloy and this is copper. So if you have 100 grams, you have 60 grams of copper. If you have 100 kilograms of alloy, and then you have 60 kilogram of copper. So that means how much copper in 100 kilogram nickel silver alloy, which is 60 kilogram copper, and also Nickel is 20%, that means in 100 kilogram, there are 20 kilogram of nickel. Uh, nickel, this one, right? This is a alloy. And also 20% zinc, or 20% means in 100 kilogram of alloy, you have 20 kilogram of zinc. So this is 20 kilogram nickel and 20 kilogram zinc. And this is in 100 kilogram. So question B, how much copper, nickel, and zinc are needed to make 3.50 tons of nickel silver alloy? So from question A, we understand in 100 kilogram alloy, there are 60 kilogram of copper. Now we have 3.50 tons of nickel and follow this percentage how much copper just a set ratio proportion you have 60 percent means 60 over 100 this is a kilogram kilogram now you have 3.5, which is you convert to kilogram because one tons equals 1,000 kilogram. So that's why we have 1,000 kilogram because 100 kilogram you have 60 kilogram. 
and 1,000 kilogram you have how many? Which is, this is 600 kilogram, right? But now you have 35, 3.5 multiplied 1,000, you got 3,500. Because 3.5 multiplied 1,000, move 3 decimal to the right, you have 3,500 kilogram. So you have how many copper? Kilogram copper. So you can use this ratio proportion to solve it. Actually this one, you can see whatever 60 over 100 or 600 over 1000, actually this one we can write into decimal which is 0 0.6, right? So this is a 0 0.6, that's why you can calculate the copper equal 3500 multiplied 0 0.6, which you got this one is uh, 5 multiplied 6 is 33 multiplied 6 is 18 to 10 and because when 0 you put another 0 so 2100 kilogram of copper and also you have 20 percent 20 over 100 which is this one you can write this is 0 0.2 and then we can set equals in 3500 kilogram and how much for nickel right so you can do the same job and the cross multiplication this is actually over one so you have nickel equals this one multiply this one which is 700 kilogram of nickel because zinc also 20% so also zinc is 700 kilogram right so in 3.50 tons of nickel which is this one also we can express as 3500 kilogram of nickel silver alloy there are 2100 kilogram or we say 2.1 tons of copper and 0 0.7 tons of nickel and 0 0.7 tons of zinc because these three add together you call 3500 or 3.5 tons this part just uh, an introduction to what is mixture problem. Next question, I want to show you a nickel silver alloy containing 32% nickel is to be melted with another one which contains 12% nickel. So there are two different concentrations of nickels. One is 32%, one is 12%. So one is a higher percentage, the other is a lower percentage. They are melted together, they are met together and make how much of each should be used. This how much of each, this each, that means one is talking about the 32%, the other talking about 12%. How much for 32% those kind of alloy and melted with 12% nickel silver alloy? So make to produce 4 tons of nickel silver alloy. This is the final mass. The final mass of four tons come from this percentage, the other is 12 percent. Four tons of nickel silver alloy is from 32 percent nickel and 12 percent, no, 32 percent nickel 
of alloy and mixed with another alloy which contain 12% nickel and together to that is 20% you have 32% some amount mixed with 12% some amount make 4 tons of 20% one is higher than 20% one is lower than 20% they mix together become 20% we can draw a picture and we say if you have one part the first part is contains 32 percent nickel and we don't know we're looking for how much if this is x and met it plus Another part is 12%. And if this is also we don't know, but finally they make 4 tons, total is 4 tons, one is x, what about the other? Together, we got this one. The big one, which is add all the mass together. This is the x. This is the also we don't know, but these two add together equal to four tons, four tons, and the nickel is twenty percent. So obviously this is the four minus x, right? Total is 4 tons, one is x, and the other is 4 minus x. Just say, if you have total is 4 tons, and one is, for example, this is 1 ton, and then this is 3 tons. Right? If this is 1.5, and this is 2.5, so add together is 4. That's This is algebra expression. If you said 1 is x, total is the number given 4, so the other one is 4 minus x. So how to write algebraic expression using x? The reason is, think about, how much nickel in this part? The nickel from produce four tons of nickel, silver, alloy. This part nickel come from these two parts. Okay, they met together for this one. And what is the nickel in this part? Because 32%, that's why this is nickel is 32% times x, right? Just like the question one. Get the question one, right? Question one here. So I have 3.5 tons and then 3.5 multiply 60%, which is the copper. And 3.5 multiply 20%, which is amount of nickel. And 3.5 multiply 20% is amount of zinc. So now, in this case, we have X. We have x tons, so the nickel in this case, because they give you information 32% nickel, so how, how much nickel? So it's 32% multiply x. Because nickel is part of alloy, right? And also last time, uh, I show you this one. The percentage triangle, the bottom is percent, this is a whole. This is part. Right, the amount of nickel is part. We're looking for part. We're using percent multiply whole. That's a percent of 32 percent whole is x. Okay. How much alloy? So same thing for this one. The amount of nickel is 12 percent multiply 
4 minus x. And what is this part of nickel, which is come from these two, we should add again at this part and at this part. Equal what? Equals 4 times 20%, so which is 20% and multiply 4. Okay, so that's why we write equation finally. This part plus this part equals this part. Talking about total the mass of alloy or total weight of alloy is x plus 4 minus x which is 4. And talking about total nickels in this part is 32% times x. The nickels in that part is 12% multiplied 4 minus x. Total equals 20% multiplied 4. So that's why we can set up equation. The equation then we can write 32% times x plus 12% and 4 minus x equals 20% multiplied 4 equal what? 20% equals 0 0.2 multiplied 4 equals 0 0.8, right? This is 0 0.8, so this is 0 0.8. So simplify, write the 32% as decimal, which is 0 0.32. I use another color. Zero point thirty two X. This is a zero point one two times four minus X equals zero point eight. And this one we do distribution multiply multiply. So we have zero point thirty two X plus zero point one two times four is zero point forty eight minus 0 0.12x equals 0 0.8. And we combine these two, which is 0 0.32x minus 0 0.12x equals 0 0.20x. And also move this constant to the other side, which is 0 0.8 minus 0 0.48 we got 0 0.20x, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.48 equals 0 0.32. And divide it by 0 0.2 for both sides. Pencil or this one. We can get x equals, this one you can say, 0 0.32 divided by 0 0.20 and move decimal to 1 plus 3.2 divided by 2 is 1.6. The unit is 10. So that's why with 32% of alloy, you need 1.6 tons. Okay, so finally you need 1.6 tons of 32% of nickel, silver, alloy, and the rest of them you got 4 minus 1.6, you got 2.4 tons, this is 2.4 tons of alloy which is 12% nickel. And mixed together, you got 4 tons and you got 20%. Okay. This video is brought by Wise Guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.